Hi everyone, my name is Shamil Umar. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Enterprise Networking Routing Group at Cisco. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about Thousand Eyes deployment in SD-WAN with the best-in-class Enterprise Modular Access WAN platform, the Cisco Catalyst 8300. In today's session, we will cover an overview on Thousand Eyes deployment, Thousand Eyes supported hardware and the minimum software version to support Thousand Eyes deployment. There are some prerequisites before deploying Thousand Eyes for real-time monitoring and analysis in customer infrastructure. And I will show you a quick 10-minute demo with the Thousand Eyes deployment in SD1 use cases. And um, in conclusion, I'll share you with some quick reference links for more case study. First, let's get started with an overview on the Thousand Eyes and what value it brings for the enterprise customers. So what is Thousand Eyes? Thousand Eyes is a cloud-based application that offers to you as a software service which provides deep level insight across your network and services that gives added value to you for your day-to-day -day business operations. And this platform monitors the network traffic across the internal, external, and carrier network in real time. The analysis of the data provided to you by the Thousand Eyes portal help you to optimize the application delivery and increase the user experience. To have this capability on your on-prem devices, the only requirement is to install a Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent as container or Docker application on iOS XE devices. You can also host this as a separate application on UCSE Blade servers or can be hosted in cloud environments like AWS and Azure. In my demo, I'll be using the Cisco Catalyst 8300 platform to host the Thousand Eyes Enterprise agent. So before we go to the demo part, I would like to give you some details around supported iOS XE routing platforms and minimum software released to support the Thousand Eyes deployment in SD-WAN. In this table, in the first column, I have included only the routing platform series that supports the Thousand Eyes deployment today. And in the second and third column, I have provided you with the minimum iOS XE software release required on respective routing platforms and the Thousand Eyes agent version that is supported. In the fourth column, I have provided the DRAM and the storage requirement for successful Thousand Eyes deployment. And most of the devices, the Thousand Eyes deployment is supported with 8 GB DRAM and 8 GB storage, either in NVMe or boot flash form factor. In the ISR 1000 platform side, only ISR 1100X 6G platform supports the Thousand Eyes today and it requires 16 GB of boot flash storage on it. We need to know there are some prerequisites to be set ready before starting to deploy the Thousand Eyes in SD-WAN. Let's have a look what are those prerequisites. First, you must create an account in Cisco Thousand Eyes portal and obtain a group token. How to obtain a group token is provided in our demo slides. The Thousand Eyes Enterprise agent that you will install on iOS XE devices need to have internet access for HTTP and HTTPS traffic as well as the DNS resolution. You need to ensure that NAT is enabled on the direct internet access link or the DIA link, which will be part of a VPN zero in SD-WAN use case. 
using vManage template so that when vManage deploy the thousand days template and enterprise agent install it on the ISHC device the internet access is already in place then what you have to do is you have to download the thousand eyes agent software from the thousand eyes portal and upload it to vManage this step is shown in our demo and optionally keep the feature template ready on vManage with all the relevant details for successful thousand eyes deployment then the only step left is to attach the feature template to the device template and push the config to the iOS XC device. Next, we'll be going through a 10 minute demonstration of a successful thousand eyes deployment using Catalyst 8300 as the SD-WAN H device. So before we go ahead with the demo, let's go over the topology. So we have here the Catalyst 8300 series platform on the brand side, part of SD-WAN fabric on which we will deploy Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent using vManage. I have a Thousand Eyes account where this Catalyst 8300 device will onboard to. And also I have created two simulation tests for HTTP and HTTPS traffic on the Thousand Eyes portal towards Cisco WebEx and Adobe that will be initiated from the Catalyst 8300 series. From the demo, you will see a successful onboarding of Catalyst 8300 to the Thousand Eyes portal and will review the monitoring and analysis of the traffic statistics on the Catalyst 8300 for the simulated tests. Now, let me play the video. So on the left side, I have two URLs open. One is the Cisco vManage and other is the Thousand Eyes portal. And on the right is the 8300 device acting as the SD-WAN Edge that will host the Thousand Eyes agent. Firstly, you will have to create an account in Thousand Eyes where you will manage your infrastructure devices for real-time monitoring. This is the step how you will download the Thousand Eyes enterprise agent from the portal and upload it to the vManage. So you have to go to the cloud enterprise agent, select the Cisco application hosting, copy the token and paste it in a notepad. You will require this token to successfully integrate the device with the Thousand Eyes portal. Then select the routers option. Then you will see the Catalyst 8000 series routers download the tar file this is my vManage i'm using in the lab so you have to upload the tar file for the thousand eyes enterprise agent to the vManage for that you have to go to the maintenance select the software repository select the virtual image and upload it here so i have already uploaded the thousand eyes agent tar file to the vManage for a fresh in, uh, the upload, you will have to select the upload virtual image and select the vManage option. Then you have to create a feature template for the Thousand Eyes deployment. I have already created it in my vManage already. So I'm gonna select that feature template I'm going to provide you the parameters that I have added to this feature template for the Thousand Eyes deployment. Basically, you will need a template name and description. And in the account group token, you have to paste the token that you have copied from the Thousand Eyes portal. Then you have to select the service VPN that the Thousand Eyes subnet will be hosted in. You have to provide the Thousand Eyes agent IP address. And the default gateway DNS is a must requirement so that the thousand eyes agent can reach to the thousand eyes portal I have provided the Cisco DNS IP here proxy is optional in my lab I have the proxy so I have provided the proxy host and the port number 
so that the Thousand Eyes agent can successfully uh, establish an HTTP or HTTPS connection to the Thousand Eyes portal. Then we have to attach this feature template to the device template. So I have already pre-configured a device template for the Catalyst 8300 series. Now I'm going to attach that Thousand Eyes feature template onto this device template. Click on the three dots, click on edit. I have to navigate to the additional template. Then in the Thousand Eyes agent additional template, you have to click on the choose and select the template that we have already configured for the Thousand Eyes. Now let me log into the device that we will be deploying the Thousand Eyes enterprise agent. Let's update the configuration on the vManage. Um, now let's preview the config. We just want to make sure the feature template configuration is already part of the config review. And make sure we have the required configuration to deploy the Thousand Eyes agent in the Catalyst 8300 series platform. If you scroll down, you can see that we have the required configuration to deploy the Thousand Eyes Enterprise agent. And this configuration is pulled from the feature template that we have already created and attached to the device template. 192.168.61.1 is the gateway for the Thousand Eyes agent. And we have a virtual port group 4 already applied onto this configuration by the vManage. And the guest IP address is the enterprise agent IP address with the DNS server information. So if you look at the Thousand Eyes portal, I don't have any enterprise agent at this time. The device will be onboarded to the Thousand Eyes portal once this configuration has been pushed to the Catalyst 8300 platform. Now let's I have already updated the configuration and the update is being scheduled and is in progress. So let's look into some of the logs on the 8300 series platform when the device pulled the configuration from the vManage and install into the running config. Now we can see vManage is accessing the device and applying the configuration update onto this 8300 platform. Let's go through the logs. You can see that the IOX guest shell is been enabled by the vManage and it is ready to use. IOX is enablement is required for successfully install any container based application on the Catalyst 8K platform successfully notified the device to pull the configuration and on the device we can see that the vManage is trying to install the thousand eyes enterprise agent 4.2.2 version and we can see that the image has been verified successfully and ready to install it usually take a couple of minutes before the deployment is completed And now we can see that the 8300 already deployed the application successfully. And the configuration has been pulled successfully and it's already created a virtual port group 4 for the Thousand Eyes agent. And the virtual port group 4 interface status has been changed to up. On the vManage side, we can see that the configuration has been pushed successfully to the device and the device has successfully pulled the configuration and it's already in the installation process. Now we can see that the Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent application is already installed. Let's see the show SD-WAN run configuration and make sure all the configuration is being pulled by the device that has been pushed from the vManage. Yeah, all the configurations are there in place that we have configured using the feature templates on the vManage. 
Now let's see the app hosting command, the detail command. We can see that a thousand ice enterprise agent 4.2.2 is already running in the IOX. And the image that has been used has been pulled from the boot flash. And that those are the resor resource reservation information in terms of memory, CPU, virtual CPU, and so on. The IP address of the 1000 s agent and the MAC address details are also verified. Now let's log into the 1000 i portal and we can see that the device is already onboarded to the 1000 i portal and the status is online. As I mentioned, I have simulated two tests for the Cisco WebEx.com and the assets.adopt.com. And we can see some statistics of those HTTP and HTTPS connections on this thousand eyes portal. So you can you can retrieve information about availability, response time, throughput for the 8300 connected to the WebEx application. The throughput is around 55 Mbps. If you look at the overview of the network, since I'm using a proxy here, it is providing me information about the proxy reachability and availability and the proxy loss, latency and jitter. If you look at the path visualization, you can see from the 8300 it detects the path that travels along the network to reach the destination which is the webex.cisco.com. Since I'm using a proxy here and the proxy is behind the firewall, it did not get the information along the path where the firewall is not being configured to permit the trace route or ICMP unreachable in, in the permission list. But as, if you look at the HTTP server, you can see successful connection and you get the metric about availability, response time and the throughput for that specific connection from the 8300 device to the adopt.com website. In some, most of the cases, you know, enterprise customers will not use a proxy. So you will get end-to-end -end hop count from the source to the destination. And if you have multiple connection to the WAN side, that connection details will also will be captured through the path visualization API on the thousand eyes photo. You will get some details about forwarding loss, link delay, and you, you, with the help of this information, the customer can select which is the fastest path to reach to the destination and do a route reroute to make sure the path use the low latency path towards the destination. You can also navigate to the test results. by selecting the device and go to the agent statistics and you will see the running test from this 8300 series platform to the cisco.webex.com and adopt.com and you can view the status similar statistics from there as well so here we have multiple paths to reach the destination and it will evaluate the lows delay and the latency over both the path and give you rich information about the best path customer would need to use from this device to the destination on the internet. Since I am using a proxy in my lab setup, the path information is being blocked due to the firewall policies that we have in the Cisco corporate network. Some customers does use proxy. So the, unless they allow 
the ICMP unreachable for the trace route traffic through the firewall the pass to the proxy will be blocked or that information will not be available so make sure you allow the required protocol to allow the trace route traffic to go through your firewall in your infrastructure and most of the customers do not have proxy in their network thousand eyes will provide you details of the path that travels to reach the destination from the source if you have multiple WAN links those hop counts will also will be shown in the path visualization topology so that customer knows which is the best path to reach to the destination from that specific location so here are some of the important references these are some of the links that provides you more detail about thousand eyes integration in SD-WAN for optimized digital experience and cloud level monitoring and analysis of your infrastructure application and services i will be uploading more videos in, in our cisco catalyst tv so what is coming next on my video is the thousand eyes deployment in autonomous mode how can we deploy thousand eyes in traditional routing use cases and we will have to deploy it manually using cli commands that we don't have the managed flexibility here for traditional routing as of today.